Hey Jeff, what are you doing? I'm just sagging bikes, Jess. Oh, how are you doing that? Well, I want to make sure that they're pretty vertical and then they're not horizontal. If they're flat, I mean, that's what the point, what's the point of that, right? Well, you want to make sure that the pedals are, the pedal of the inside bike is always in between the down tube and the tire. That way they come off easily when you need them, when they need to go. A lot of times I'm seeing the pedal uh, on the women's bikes are going to be, I see some of you guys want to put it on top, and that's a big no-no in my book, because one, it scratches the frame, and it tangles them up. So, and then if they have a bottle cage, which they don't, but sometimes they do, it'll get stuck, and it's a big headache. But, uh, I guess the first step is when you have a bicycle, you want to have the, the seat all the way down, as down as they can go, so it stacks up nice and neat. Uh, you want to look at which way you want to put it. So I want to put it this way. All right, have this pedal 12 o'clock, so that way you can free wheel backwards if you need it to. So have it at 12 to start off with. Make sure the bike in front of it is also at 12. Uh, you want to sandwich the tire in between the tires of the, the bike that it's next to. Sandwich it in between. Nestle it. Have the front fork of the bike you're working with outside of the hub of the inner bike, and the handlebars within the uh, hub underneath. Uh, and then it helps to uh, push the bell towards the rider. That way it doesn't snap off and break. So have push it down and towards the rider. This is a no because the pedal is inside. Have the pedal. Move it backwards in between the, the tire you're working with and the down tube of the bike that you're working with. Have it uh, as vertical as possible, and you're done. Thanks, Jeff. That you're was welcome, really great. Everyone. Have a good day.